Hey, hey, Rhonda Roseanne here, CPA and Advanced Certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor with New Business Directions. Today I have a short video on the audit trail in QuickBooks. Both QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online have an audit trail. I'm going to start by sharing my screen and sharing with you the QuickBooks Desktop sample file here for Rock Castle Construction. And in here, I have users set up to work on the file. I have a Debbie, a Susie, a Mary, and an administrative user. And I believe right now I'm logged in as Susie. And the audit trail overview is QuickBooks tracks who did what when. And it's really important to log in as yourself so that you can take ownership for the transactions that you post and the changes that you make. And it's important not to share your credentials with anyone else. These are yours and yours alone. The audit trail in QuickBooks Desktop is accessed via the reports menu, but first I'm going to make a change so you can see what happens. I've got some deposits sitting here. I'm going in to record these deposits. I'm gonna grab these two right here, click OK. I've got 2440 uh, in deposits. Save and close. I've just made a transaction, logged in as Susie. Now I'm gonna go up here to reports. And I'm going to go down to accountant and taxes and over and across to the audit trail. It's under the accountant menu. And here I can see that that deposit was just made by me on today. So I could change this to be all transactions and I can see all transactions over time. This report will give you information on transactions that were added, transactions that were deleted, transactions that were edited. You can see the latest, the, what it looked like before, and the information that is highlighted in bold tells you what the change was. So there was a transaction that was entered in here, and then the date kept getting changed. So that is where everything is in QuickBooks Desktop. So I will stop sharing the QuickBooks desktop file, and now I will do a new share and show you what it looks like in QuickBooks Online in this sample company file here. I'm going to go in and I'm going to add an expense. I'm going to do a new transaction and create a bill. And I'm gonna make a bill to Cal Telephone for utilities for $500 and I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to say, oh no, that wasn't $500, it was only $50. So then I'm gonna to go to the transaction, I'm gonna change it to $50 and I'm going to save it. Now I can audit, I can look at the audit trail right here, the audit history of this transaction right from the transaction itself. I can see that it was, entered originally at 107, and this is what it looked like. And then I can see that I changed it a minute later, and the highlighted amount is what has changed. I can also access the audit trail from up here under the gear icon and down here in audit log. And this will give me all of the information that has happened in this file, sorted by date. You can see that it was 500 and now it is 50. That is the audit. It is the audit log in QuickBooks Online and the audit log or audit trail in QuickBooks Desktop. In either event, it's an important place to track information, changes that have been made to your QuickBooks file and by the user, you can filter it by user, by date, or even by vendor. If you have any questions about QuickBooks or you need assistance, please start with our website at newbusinessdirections.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our blog. If you need help organizing your chaos or streamlining the process, please send us an email. It's okay. We can help. Stay safe and stay healthy.